going to copy your sequence, rename your sequence, and really muck it up. Um, so everyone's going to follow along, regardless of where you're at, just to kind of have a nice, good practice. So what you want to do is duplicate from here? Is go to your media browser and find your sequence. If you can't find your sequence, it might be easier to click on your list view. Your sequence is going to be green while all your footage is going to be blue. So once again, I clicked here and that made it easy for me to scan and find my sequence. Notice it says silent, short, rough, right? Oh, that was not, that was my sub layer. Wrong one. Good thing I named these correctly. I want to find my silent, short, rough. That was my silent, short, rough cut. So find your sequence. Neil, find your sequence on your timeline so you can follow along. And you might like the changes that I make you make. And some of you will be like, no, screw that. This way you have ways of experimenting. And this is actually part of the lesson is that if you want to try out an idea, and you're not sure about the idea, right? Um, you can always duplicate a sequence and kind of mess with it. And if, if, you, if you like it, stick with that sequence. If you don't like it, go back to your old sequence. So it's kind of like a way of saving as. So once again, find your sequence. The easiest thing to do is to go to list view. That way it stands out. And right click on it and choose copy and paste. Or if there's a duplicate, duplicate. Duplicate. Boop. It's made a second copy. Now I could rename it. Instead of calling it rough, I can call it like experiment. I choose like rename. If I double click on it, take a breath, click on it again. Instead of calling it sign cut rough, I can call it experiment with speed, right? Or whatever I want to call it. Now notice it's still not open up here. So this is the tricky part. Everyone look up. This is the tricky part to having multiple sequences. When I double click on it, I'll get a new tab. Oops. I'll get a new tab up here. So you want to make sure you're always on the correct sequence. So you can have multiple sequences open. So you got to be really cognizant of what you're doing. That's why I did like all caps. This is my experiment. Okay. All right. Chances are a lot of you have been working really well for the last two days and you don't want to mess up your timing. Some of you probably have some decent timing time cuts, right? Let me plug in my audio here. Sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right. So if I look in here, once again, we cover this a little bit with the montage. But there you go again. All right, so I don't have, I thought I had some good timing. I don't have some good timing. Um, there are two things you can time, right? You can time action to the music and you can time your cuts to the music. So really quickly, just to show you again how to time cuts to music with a new trick, I wanna show you the roll tool. Is it the roll tool? Double check that name. The rolling, yeah, the roll tool. Um, so this was originally, right there that cut should have been right here okay now you could grab one edge pull it in grab another edge pull it out but I really like once you kind of get used to it there's a thing here called the rolling edit tool right or by pressing N and this lets me just kind of do two moves in one you guys see what I just did there I pulled one further and one in. So instead of sliding one, sliding out, this, this is a nice handy dandy tool. We're gonna play a lot with this tool on the next project. So it's a way of sliding your cut without having to pull one or the other. It's called the rolling edit tool. So it lets you kind of adjust those. So if you had your timing just a little bit off, you wanted a quick little adjustment, that tool again looks like this, or you can press N. I'm really annoyed because in Final Cut it's called R, so it's a lot more convenient. He's got to remember rolling edit. Now, I get that timed out. There. So I like those cuts. So
So let's say I have a huge long sequence. Let's say I did this whole thing and it's all timed perfectly well. And then I go back and I look at this door opening here. Omar opening the door, right? I'm using your montage footage. There's not as much action. I'm sure you guys have plenty of action spots. And you notice, oh, that's really close to the beat. So you didn't actually plan for this to happen, but... I mean, wouldn't that be sweet at that door open? But I've already made all these cuts and arrangements. I don't want to mess up all these cuts and trims over here. Okay? That's where the slip tool comes in handy. So the slip tool is right here. This guy. Right? Um, and if I click on the slip tool, what this does is it keeps the in and out point. It keeps all my cuts. It doesn't slide anything around except for the starting and ending point of this clip and it lets me sh shift the contents around. So this is mark right here is where the door opens. This is where the beat starts. So if I just slip it over here a little bit, now they're kind of lined up. Ooh, right? Pretty sweet. Don't worry, I'm gonna turn off my techno music in a second. Um, so that's called the slip tool. Two very, very, very handy tools. Slip and roll. There's also a slide and a ripple. Don't worry about those right now, um, but you might accidentally click on them by right clicking, or if you hit that little left arrow and hold, you might accidentally activate the, the roll instead of the ripple, um, or the ripple instead of the roll, um, and the slip instead of the slide, or the slide instead of the slip, right? So make sure you're on slip. I just threw out a lot of weird words right there, and make sure you're on roll, rolling edit. We'll learn about ripple and slide later. Right? All right, let's look at some fun stuff. I'm gonna mute my things here. Um, there's a lot of fun things you can do with speed, and a lot of you have been asking about speed. The quickest way to do something with speed is to right click and to do a, this is why I want you to make a copy of your sequence. So everyone, find something with some fun action. Find something with some fun action. A door opening, that's the funnest action there is. Whose phone was talking? My phone's talking. Why is my phone talking? All right. Um, when you find something with some with some fun action to play with, pull it up a layer. So that way it's not, if I had more cuts here, it wouldn't be interfering with that cuts. And I want you just to kind of play with something for a second, right? Let's have some fun. What, fun in a class? Yes. All right, I know, novel concept. So you all know how to speed and slow things up, right? No? Okay, if you don't know how to speed and slow things up, here's how you do that. Right click, speed duration. Speed duration. If I want this to go slower, I'm gonna type in 50%. If I want it to go faster, I'm gonna type in 200% or 400 or 500. I can experiment, right? So with speed here, you're gonna do some trial and error, right? So now it's faster. If I wanted it to go backwards, speed duration, I can also choose reverse speed. Reverse speed, and now it flips it, so now he's now he's going backwards. Okay, undo that. And then one more thing, when you do slow motion with speed duration, when you do one, mo one more thing with speed duration, um, if you do slow motion especially, so I'm gonna go down to like 12%, really, really slow. And I'm gonna hit okay. What happens is you get a stutter effect. Do you see how the door is kind of stuttering? You guys see that? No? Class, you see that? Anyone wanna take a guess why that is? Cause what, cause what? The frame rate, right? So. It was filming at like 60 frames a second, but then I slow it down. So then those 60 frames get stretched out. Let's say one second worth of frames get stretched out over five seconds, right? I don't have enough frames. So another trick you can do is when you do slow motion, right? And we do a slower percentage, you can choose optical flow, right? Or frame, frame blending does a simple trick where it just does a cross dissolve between each frame to kind of create uh, less of a stutter and kind of of a blurry effect. Optical flow, it takes a little, someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but it takes a little processing power, 
little AI, if you will, to kind of calculate the difference between those two frames. And it, it builds new frames based on the two frames before and after it. It takes a lot of processing power. And if I choose optical flow and the speed is really, really low, I usually get a red line. Does everyone see that? That, everyone look up here. If you get a red line, you didn't break anything. You just need to render it. So I go to sequence, render in and out. And what's actually happening right now is the machine is examining every one of these frames here and calculating how to build new pseudo frames, let's say, let's call them pseudo frames, um, that will that'll dissipate the, the, the that stuttering effect. Sometimes it works beautifully if there's a lot of camera movement and a lot of action, sometimes it looks way too messy. Um, so, but optical flow is the way to kind of get rid of that stutter. You'll probably be, be you're probably not moving your camera around enough too much right now for it to work pretty well. Um, otherwise, what'll happen is it slowly zooms in. Um, and if, it, if there's too much movement, it gets like super close on something um, to try and figure it all out. It's almost there. It's really thinking these last couple percentages. Your render speed is going to depend on how much work you've done and then what other programs you have open. So if you've got like Spotify and Chrome and Maya and Photoshop open as well as Premiere, this is going to take a lot longer. I didn't buy like the super, 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 super computers. Sorry. Um, so it, it will be dependent on what else is opening. Right. So me, I got like five programs open right now. So that's why it's probably taking a little longer than yours. Come on, wasting class time, you render. If I hit cancel, it won't delete the stuff that's already rendered. So let's just hit cancel right now. It'll actually keep, oh, no, it didn't. Oh, man. Anyway, so yeah, if I hit play, it's not going to play well. Oh, now I got to go back to rendering it again. Oh, render it. All right. Huh? I could. I could go here. Yeah, I could do this, right? I could hit I. All right, if it's selected, yeah. I could also hit sequence, render selection. That'll render just this area. Um, so you can do that as well. So if you hit render selection, it's gonna select, it's gonna render whatever you've clicked on. If you hit render in and out, if you don't have any in and out points on your sequence, it does the whole sequence. Only some of you are tempted to do this when you're yellow. You only really need to do this when you're red. Every once in a while, you get a lot of text. You get a lot of stuff happening here. Um, that's what's going to happen. All right, well, that's rendering out. There's actually much more, and this is where I want you to follow along. There's much more you can do with speed, which is what we're going to do. We're going to try and do a stutter, and we're going to try and do a record scratch. Um, and if you want to include those in your silent short, you can. Um, some people have asked or will really like the idea after I show it to them. So then you, you, you incorporate it in. But you don't have to do what I'm showing you right now um, or what I'm about to show you. Um, but it is often encouraged or a replay or stuff like that. Most people see it and they go, oh, I want to do that. Um, at least to try it out. So once this is done rendering, I shouldn't have hit cancel. It's because it's Monday. I hit cancel, it's Monday. I hit cancel for Jesus, so Jesus can see. You're welcome. Come on. Anyone see a good movie while it's rendering out? No? Nothing? White Boy Rick? Is that good? Yeah, what'd you see? Yeah. Imitation. Ooh, I like the Imitation Game. I like that movie a lot. Yeah, what'd you see? Jawbreaker. That that old movie? Yeah. Like they, they kill the girl by shoving a jawbreaker yeah. in her mouth? Yeah. That one's dark. Have you seen Heathers? Yeah. Is it like Heathers? Um, yeah, it's, yeah. it's similar. Yeah. I, I've seen both, but very long ago. Yeah, what'd you see? Chicago, the musical thing? How'd you like the movie? Stylistic? Let's see. All right, here we go. Let's see. All right, so here it is now. If you remember it from stuttering before, it's definitely gotten smoothed out. I can even see Omar behind it. It's not stuttering as much. Still got a little stutter, but it's definitely blended a lot. It's stuttering a lot less. All right. All that to just show you how it blends. But I wanted to show you about rendering. I wanted to talk to you about rendering. Okay, let's go back here now. Okay, everyone everyone got a cool piece of action? 
Everyone got a, everyone lifted it above their one layer above. Take it take that 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 one clip and pull it up one track above. And let's do let's do a stutter first, okay? So stutters are fun, especially if you have a place in the music with like a like a little drum roll or a little like like a beat or a, a build um, before a beat drops. Um, you can do a stutter. So a stutter requires you to do, you actually don't need speed to do stutter, um, but you definitely need your razor tool. So if you go to your C here for a cut, I can go and I can zoom in here and I'm going to just take this right there from here. I'm gonna hit C, I'm gonna cut, bam. I'm gonna slide it down a little bit to right about there, bam. Then I'm gonna take, I'm gonna press V. I'm gonna move this, this leftover clip here, maybe a little bit further, right? Let's get a, get a couple of stutters here. Um, then here's the trick, we're gonna copy and paste. So if I hit, remember I have, to, if I'm copying and pasting and I want it to paste on a certain track, I have to tell Premiere, hey, paste on that track. So I unchecked V1 on the right, right here. I made sure that was not blue. And then I made sure V2 was blue by clicking on it, like that. So now I'm just gonna copy and paste this. Copy. I'm gonna make sure I'm right at the end. Paste, paste, paste. This is gonna be a pretty slow stutter. But, 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 yeah, that's a stutter, right? And then what I could do, what I could really do next is really speed it up by taking this last one, right click, speed duration, let's multiply it by 200. And now I'm gonna take the faster one, copy, paste. So if I wanted to like really time this to the music, I could have a lot of fun with it, but I'm just showing you. And then you wanna make sure you, you put the end clip back to touching it. So now it goes, ba, 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 right? And if you got someone punching someone, or if you have someone tripping, or if you have you know him hitting a wall, a stutter, especially in, if it's a good place where there's music, um, that's something fun to do. Okay, but so that's a stutter. Okay, the other thing you can do is a record scratch, and a record scratch is just like a stutter, except I go like this, like you know, right? When you do, when you're listening to records, that's what we're that's what we're talking about now. So he opens the door, so I can even just take it from my study here, and I take this one, right click, and I do speed duration, and I hit reverse, and it's basically just like, and then it comes and opens again, and then this one I can rewind back, right click, and I'm going to hit speed duration. And this time I'm going to hit reverse. So every other one, so that's forward, and then this is backwards. Speed race. So every other one I'm reversing. Is it worth it? Let me work it. Put it down. Let me put it in reverse. I need one more. Yes. So, right? Isn't that what, it's just her singing backwards there, right? And then this last one, I'm gonna make slow. Right click speed. Uh, let's see, speed duration. Let's go super slow. 12, because opening the door is so dramatic. All right. Oops. And let's see. I missed one. Forward. That, that one. Backwards. Right click. Speed duration. Backwards. So this is what they call a record scratch, because it goes rip, 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 rip. There you go. Um, and what happened there was the, I forgot that when I slowed it down, I forgot to choose the ripple effect. So one last thing here, the speed duration, you, you see how it got cut off? If I choose ripple edit, if I click that off, it'll push everything. If, I, if the slow motion gets longer than the, the blank space, it starts pushing everything to the right. So that's the one thing I forgot to check off, right? So that's a record scratch. Rip, 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 right? So those are fun things to do. And then instant replays, you can always just cut back and choose a slow motion. We're not gonna go through that one. So um, that is all I wanted to show you today. 
Um, if you want to include it, go for it. If you don't want, if you're like, eh, that's not my style, I get it. But a lot of you have been asking how to do that, so I just wanted to give a quick demo on how to do a record scratch and how to do a stutter and how to play with speed and things you should look out for and copying and pasting and your rolling tool and your slip tool. So a big part of your grade is timing, 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 repetition works, right? So um, make sure you get as much kind of in sync with the song as possible. I know a lot of you have your whole timeline laid out. These roll and slip tools are meant to kind of mess with timing but not mess with your whole overall sequence. So that's probably the biggest takeaway right now is mess with your timing of your action with your slip tool. If that's all you got out of today's lecture, that's great. If you do throw in a, a, a record scratch or a stutter or whatever, great. But really, really focus on your timing to the music. I'm done. Get to work.